new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you i have no room to yell at us i want to speak to the person who made this drink is that you no well, it wasn't we don't know me. who made it so you don't know who made it there's four of us here so we obviously don't know stupid maker in high school kids okay bye i want to speak to the you can Jump call corporate stop. whatever you want. Goodbye. Jam stop. Young Kim. I don't care. Give it to me right now. What? I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. Now. And this video has been brought to you by racism. Racism is accepted wherever true Americans are. Perfect. Arrested a man who was accused of yelling and throwing drinks at Robex employees in Fairfield after his son had an allergic reaction to a smoothie from the store on Saturday. Officers received numerous 911 calls from employees at the Robex on Black Road Turnpike around 2.26 p.m reporting a customer was throwing things, yelling at employees and refusing to leave. According to investigators, the 48-year-old named James Inanazo of Fairfield made a purchase at Robex around 1 p.m. and left the store without incident. After half an hour later, authorities stated that Inanazo called 911 to request the EMS services to his home for a minor who was suffering from an allergic reaction. That minor was transported to the area hospital. Shortly after, police said it that Inanazo returned to Robex and confronted the employees. He yelled at them and demanded to know who had made the smoothies, which he believed contained peanuts and caused his child's allergic reaction. When the employees could not tell Inanazo which of them had made the smoothies, investigators state that he became irate and yelled a number of expletives at the employees. He then threw the drink at one of the employees, hitting their right shoulder. Authorities have stated that Inanazo also made comments towards an employee that referenced their immigrant status. And despite being told to leave by the employees, multiple times police stated that Inanazo remained inside to yield insults at the employees and attempted to open a locked door that led to an employee's only area where the employees were behind the counter. Inanazo left the store before police arrived but was identified shortly after. He then later turned himself into police without incident. Officers stated that Inanazo told them that he was upset about his son having a severe allergic reaction and he went back to the store as a result. While investigating, police stated that the employees reported that Inanazo never told them about the peanut allergy and only requested that there be no peanut butter in his drink. Inanazo was arrested and is facing charges including intimidation based on bigotry or bias, breach of peace, and criminal trespass. He is due in court on February. February 7th and here's the nonsense from the lawyer quote Mr. Inanazo wholeheartedly regrets the incident that took place at Fairfield Robex on January 22nd of 2022 Mr. Inanazo placed an order at the Robex and stressed to the staff that the product must not contain peanuts his receipt acknowledged that the order should not contain peanut butter. His son has a life-threatening peanut allergy. When drinking the Robex smoothie, his son had a severe allergic reaction which required transportation via ambulance to the hospital. When faced with a dire situation for his son, Mr. Inanazo's parental instincts kicked in and he acted out of anger and fear.
He is not a racist individual and deeply regrets his statements and actions during a moment of extreme emotional stress. Stop it. Get some help. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder what it says. Bitch, you fired. Here comes a new challenger. So this is what his former job, Merrill Lynch, had to state about his employment. He is no longer employed there as a financial advisor. Quote, our company does not tolerate behavior of this kind. We immediately investigated and have taken action. This individual is no longer employed at our firm. <laughs> well, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He is a racist. Um, because if he was not a racist, he would not have brought up somebody's immigrant status in such a way that he did, which were clearly um, able to hear and see directly in the video. And, you know, it's funny. It was a lot of misogynistic type of language that was being used. And he has a son. Wow. I wonder what his son is going to grow up to be. Mm. Interesting. You know, one can only hope that, you know, he doesn't end up like his father. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a very sad sight, uh, you know, directly out here. But hey, that's the life of a, you know, true American. Uh, somebody who's a part of the reflective majority. It is what it is at the end of the day. He decided to be racist and misogynistic and also turn himself in while at the same time getting fired all on his day off. That is quite, quite, quite an accomplishment. I've never seen something like this uh, before out of all of my time in reporting or at least out of this year. <laughs> If you can't tell, I'm pretty happy uh, at what took place. He lost his job. He wanted to act stupid. And he wanted to state that, oh, his lawyer, I'm sorry, wanted to state that, oh, the reason why my client did what he did was, you know, he was just being a parent and out of fear and out of anger and out of, you know, the urgency and protection out of his child. He rushed right over there. Out of the urgency, the fear and the compassion and the protection of your child as a parent, you would still be at that hospital right by your child's side if that allergic reaction is as severe as you stated. You wouldn't leave your child's side at the hospital with strangers, aka nurses and doctors, just to come back to the smoothie shop, just to sit up there and complain like a Karen or a Darren. Because that's clearly what he did. He did a multitude of things all in one video. Like I said before, you cannot make this stuff up but yet again a is what true americans do gotta love it right gotta love it and i promise you another firm somewhere will quietly hire him if not hire him then he will quietly be doing some stocks and some trading online and then magically have a youtube channel i'm just saying he has options unlike everybody else for being racist and he'll get subscribers and he'll get monetized and paid this is America. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this story and this video and everything that I listed in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.